What's going on, you guys? Today's video is brought to you by Zero Helix. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. As you guys already know, Legos are a huge thing that I don't know about you, but when I was a little kid, I loved playing with Legos. You guys know I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I know if you're watching this video, you love Yu-Gi-Oh. Now imagine combining the two into one. What you guys have seen here is literally that Yu-Gi-Oh Legos. I know I'm not the first channel to talk about this, but this is something that I think should definitely come to your attention. Zero Helix was nice enough to share all this information with me. It's literally, as it says, you guys, it's literally your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in Lego form, and I think it's awesome. As you can see, this is the first one that they wanted to work on. It's a card box, Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes White Dragon. You guys already know the iconic battle from the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's also amazing, and it's literally a love letter to the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. A box for your most treasured cards, topped by the franchise. Two most iconic monsters squaring off. You guys already know. It's awesome. Gives the dimensions on it and everything. And he created this build because, like many others in their pastimes, latching on to my hobbies of Lego and Yu-Gi-Oh has given me great comfort during, time, during hard times in my life. I think it's awesome to combine both things into one. Uh, the beauty of this, you guys, is that literally it is free to come here and support. Once you are able to get uh, 10,000 supporters, 10,000 upvotes, your your creation actually comes to life, and I think that's really amazing. I love the fact that you know this can just take the creativity of someone who loves to play with you, uh, you know, with Yu-Gi-Oh and with Legos, and just combine them into one. Hopefully, you guys will come check it out. I have a link in the description. Just definitely come over here, give some support, you guys. You can also propose ideas. I mean, there's a Ton of stuff that people have here there's exodia stuff time wizard stuff there's a lot of stuff that you guys can make and again it's totally free you don't have to put a credit card or anything you literally just are able to come here support give an upvote and it just does amazing things just show you guys a couple more pictures and yeah it's awesome you guys definitely come check it out links in the description shout out to zero helix for sponsoring the video and let's get into today's video what's going on you guys slim here with a new video today and today you guys we're doing something new here on the channel i'm actually going to be featuring three different decks that have all taken first place in the last couple of weeks uh over at top choice gaming you guys already know my locals if you guys want to come hang out come hang with your boy whenever i go back to locals links in the description you can come get the address and i'll see you guys over there but yeah we're going to be covering dinosaurs and two different takes on sword soul 10 you today so hopefully you guys enjoyed you guys already know smash that like button subscribe if you're new here follow me on twitch yada 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 tcg player if you want to build the deck you guys already know the spiel i'm gonna get into it like i said three lists to feature today and we're starting with all things dinos i don't remember the last time i talked about dinos but my boy kevin is back on it with this deck he always plays this deck i have featured him on the channel before with dinos and it's amazing to me that he is still hanging with this deck and his own unique take similar to his previous list he's always had his own like just personal approach to the deck and i honestly love to see it i feel like this is a deck that is so underrepresented and it's hard to play it's really Really hard to play this deck when you only have one misc but he's still able to make it work you guys see there's nothing really like there, a lot of the stuff is standard here you know the one uh archosaur you know the three baby sarasaurus of course with pancratops this deck you know uh, probably wants to go second it can probably also go first there's just a lot of things you can do you can build a board going first you can literally just crack boards with ease going second i feel like since he put it in the kaijus and stuff that he's actually you know get, you know going to go second with this deck pretty straightforward you know the kaiju is just to get rid of any problematic monster a dpe a dragoon if it comes up anything in your way and you just start doing dino shenanigans and you're good to go standard stuff with the res rex of course just one uh miss because you can only play one he's got a random nibiru in there but as you guys can see like there's a lot of random one ofs a lot of like two ofs and stuff like that but you know personal preference it all works out in the end just having these little tech spots once you've you know filled the dino engine could just be the difference between you winning and losing he's got two copies of the baby petite petite he's got of course the gamma package the over raptors one token collector in the main that's actually crazy you know there are so many tokens going around because of the adventure package because of sword soul and stuff like that so having that one random token collector that can come up is super important so i do like this uh it can come up and just be a total blowout in those matchups and of course your mvp is ultimate conductor that's nothing new uh, just more standard stuff. He is playing one copy of Dark Hole. Now, most people would say, well, when you play Regeki, well, Dark Hole is way better in this deck because you can Dark Hole, your babies get their effects, and you're good to go. Dark Hole can actually be a starter for you, which is nuts. Like, <laughs> it's so weird. You know, only one copy, but, you know, Dark Hole just being able to, you know, blow out a board or just get you started uh, with your babies and just cycling your plays is just super important. So I like to see the one I've included there. You know, the Evolution Pills is standard, of course. The Digs, the Duster for back row decks. He is playing just one Slumber. He, one Slumber, three Kaijus is perfectly fine. 
Uh, if you resolve it, it can bait and negate. You can also banish it to search a kaiju, so that definitely comes up. Doggeron, of course, is also searchable since it is a dinosaur. Lost World, he's maxing out. Cards just super important just to protect your dinos, chain blocks, stuff like that. He's got the Mystic Mine along with the set rotation and the terraforming, of course, just giving you that option to have four fields, the set rotation and the terraforming just to get to Lost World. It can also be Mystic Mine, which can win you the game by itself. The one random Super Poly, it's just another board breaking card. He's got one Twin Twister. If you guys can see, there's a lot of just one ofs that just kind of come in and out against just the way the format is. The format is just, there's so many crazy things with the 60 card base decks and stuff like that. So just having access to all different things is important. I really do like the Super Poly. You guys can see he's also citing one extra copy. Just being able to get rid of just whatever's in your way, mostly DPE and stuff like that. Just this is going to be great. This card's also going to be insane once Despia becomes like super real in the meta once the structure deck comes out. So you'll definitely got to be prepared. It's super Poly will definitely be one of those best cards. Then just the craziest card. So this card is basically just to get you to peck or top. Like this card is actually crazy. I've seen this before. And being able to just actually like special summon your special summon your pecker tops from the deck is just nuts like it just gives you that added versatility so it's in there played 41 cards in the main deck side decks pretty straightforward lancia is just a staple this format droll just slows the format it's just always important this is where it gets kind of cheeky i do like this card though i have seen this in other lists uh this is just so you can just during time your opponent wants to screw you in time you literally just gain life every time they special summon a monster so it's pretty crazy uh i don't know how often this card will come up but i've definitely seen it in other lists where people are going you know and figuring you know if it's coming close to time you literally just drop this and your opponent's not going to know what to do and if they just pass turn then you literally just you know you'll gain life off that and if you don't win in time you'll win off their mediocre board so pretty solid other super poly other twin just to brown them out d barrier you go first you just call whatever's in the way and you win and then red reboot of course to stop the rest of the trap decks extra deck is just pretty straightforward dinos mostly go into like the rank fours and stuff like that like Dagares, you got your loggy or your dolka rap city is interesting just being like a dd crow and then you've just got some other other stuff in here dark charmer is just insane now that it's out standard nightmares pentastag for extra poking and you've got of course the lambda to make your gamma resolve even while you have cards on the field just standard stuff that you can go into underworld goddess if you just break a board and just stuff that you can go into that can just be really solid but that is the first list you guys yo shout out to kevin for getting furs with dinos i think it's awesome to see that deck still getting representation the other two decks are sword soul so first we got angels list and we're also gonna have my boy marco's list i have them both here for you guys uh sword soul is pretty standard it's Sword Soul Tenyi just really good hand traps in addition to just standard soul, sword soul and tenyi cards uh things that stand out to me of course are just you know the choices to play chalice i think chalice is really solid this format it just gives you a good going first and going second card uh unlike imperm which he does play as well you are able to use this you know just in random situations that can just really help you especially just hitting scythe and stuff like that is super important so i like that he is playing the despot 001 for the aurora dawn combo that's just become standard for the deck still playing the desires it's at one which to me is still ridiculous I still can't believe this card is at one, but you know, you got to play it. It says draw two cards insane, but yeah, just really standard sword soul stuff. I don't think there's too much to really go over the, you know, the standard engine has always been there. Standard engine with the 10 years, you know, you can opt for one Vashuda, two Vashuda. I don't think I've seen three, three Vashuda in a while. So, you know, it just comes down to player preference and then just having the desires of that extra draw too is just super important. As side deck, again, Lancia is just an absolute bomb, like staple card. This format just so good against so many decks. Flundery is just any deck that wants to banish. You You've got Nibiru, of course, for overextension. Now, it's been said before with Nibiru, you have to combo it with another card. So that's why you have so many hand traps so that you are able to do that. Like post side, you just have so many hand traps. It's insane. So having that with Nibiru just gives it more value. And then just really good backer removal in the form of Cosmic Lightning, uh, Cosmic Harpy's Feather Duster and Reboot extra deck pretty standard differences second copy of baxia just you know standard stuff with chow fang draco berserker you've got of course the herald for the end board you have your standard sword soul synchros you've got the new guys the big guys you still got your uh yazi for your combo you still have your halk into your Rordon combo which is the you know the bread and butter of this deck and of course you have your bunks to get your tenu play started but yeah it's pretty standard stuff i love to see it though sword soul is a really cool deck and even though you know all these people are all these players are playing a lot of like 60 card base deck is good to see that some players are still sticking with sword soul so i really like this and again shout out to angel for getting first place with this deck and last but not least my boy mark marco back on the channel different take to sword soul now when i say different take he is playing cross out that's the real standout here is that he decided to go with the cross out route because the minute you look at this you look at the hand trap ratios and you wonder then you see the cross outs and then you know exactly why uh you know just again standard sword soul and standard 10 year ratios only difference from this and angels list he decided to play only one copy of a uh other standard stuff 
you know, all the engine is pretty much the same, but he is playing, you know, two copies of Valor. He's playing two copies of Ogre. He's playing one Nibiru, one Imperm, you know, just all just like solid one ofs and then having the cross outs in order to having the cross outs in order to just negate whatever gets in your way so you get your plays across is super important so i really do like that i like that we are seeing cross out in some decks because i know the card has gone up and down in like popularity and how effective it actually is this format but i love to see that he's actually playing this card because i think the card is very solid and in the right deck piloted by the right player it can do wonders i also love that he's playing ghost bell has really good interactions this format it's a card that we're starting to see a little bit more and i think we'll see uh as the format continues to progress before we get a ban list i think bell is really solid ogre has you know solidified its just being a staple this format against the adventure cards and everything so it is very very solid 44 card main deck side deck again very standard stuff lancia drolls nibiru's you have those nibiru in the main deck you've got the chalices instead of main decking them he sided them again just a very good card going first going second so i really like him and then for his choice of back removal instead of playing cosmics he played lightning storm it also covers the front row of monsters as well if it were to come up so love to see it i think it's just a really good approach with this deck and the extra deck again only difference is we only have one copy of baxia uh, he decided to play Formula Synchron, I guess, in place of the other Baxia. Can come up, gives you an extra draw. He help you help you do like some crazy like combo shenanigans just to draw more cards and then just you know continue synchroing and going forward. Heralds become standard and then all the sword soul cards. You've got of course the Yazi, the normal Halkarordon combo, and the monks of the Tenies. But those are the decks you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, dinosaurs. First version of Sword Soul, second version of Sword Soul. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, please let, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching.